What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Monster Candy Podcast with the Kaiju Queen herself, Oubliette Oobzilla Sparks from Tsunami Bomb, myself, <laughs> Screaming E from the Memphis <laughs> Murderman, and back with us again to help us out on this special episode is Charlie, our homie from Valhalla Cinema. And steadfast. Welcome What's back, up, Charlie. Guys? Thanks. <laughs> so, this is a special episode because we had a longtime listener do a short, and he brought up that if we ever wanted to review it, he'd be honored because we are so honest about stuff that he would love the feedback. He's from the UK, uh, Kieran Reed. So I was like, "Yeah, man, send send me the stuff," and he was like, "All right, here's the link." check it out and whenever you guys want to do it like i'd be totally happy to and i'm like all right we'll we'll definitely get to it so tonight's the night we're going to do uh all you can eat a toxic burrito horror short um <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into that it's time for us to catch up with charlie and talk about some <laughs> yeah so before we get into horror news what's up charlie Oh, you know, not much. Just hanging out. Just not... Feeling <laughs> all right? Too exciting. I'm feeling better after the little <laughs> brief uh, bout with whatever sickness we picked up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if uh, if you guys didn't catch the last episode or Tsunami Bomb's run of the East Coast and their shenanigans they got into, Charlie had to fill in on drums for one show, which was potentially going to be more than one show and then was definitely just one show yeah definitely <laughs> one show full stop <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every a lot of people caught a case of the vid but not charlie or oubliette or dom nope dom kept testing negative nope. too right yeah, yeah. So did we it wait got, we just got some other funk i don't know yeah i i didn't ask did uh did andy he just tested positive for the first time today. Really? Yeah. No, negative. Or negative, yeah. Or negative. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Uh, Enzo from Arnocore last year, or maybe it was the beginning of this year. No, maybe last year. Yeah, it was last year. They played a show, and like half the people that were there got sick. Oh. Got the vid. Like, dude, I went with my guitar player. Drove, drove together, drove them home, was sweating all over Pete. Like everyone was sweating all over me. Oh, yeah. Everything. He got it. Half of Arno Core got it. Holtz Foyer didn't get it. The singer. I never got it. And a bunch of other he's people so that were there. He's so tall, though, that I feel <laughs> yeah, like just, people's germs can't bump. get to him. <laughs> <laughs> like you would have to like really try to get your germs in his face. Yeah. But it was crazy <laughs> after that show. Enzo was sit feeling shitty for like a week. And I'm like, oh, dude, you probably got something. He's like, I keep, I, I keep testing negative. I'm like, I don't know, man. Like five other people at that show got it. You definitely have something. Keep testing yourself because I'm telling you, you're going to pop hot soon. And then mm-hmm. like seven days later, he finally tested positive and then was sick for like another two weeks. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, I never okay. popped positive, but I've never popped positive on a home test. It's always a yeah. PCR test. So I just assume I had it because, I mean, I slept for 48 hours when we got back. Yeah, I probably just swam right through because I had it in June. And I think they did that show in November. Yeah. Or something. So like I did PCRs and at home stuff. And I'm yeah, you did I'm both. Negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've done two PCRs now. So basically, I'm just superhuman. 
<laughs> pretty much because this is like the fourth time that i've like <laughs> slept no the third time i've slept in the same bed with someone as covid oh, and yeah. like shared drinks and yeah well oh. you're, you are supernatural yeah you're like that you're like that spider about lady. That dinner tonight you're like that spider girl from uh <laughs> cobweb no i'm not i'm not <laughs> like her at all oh shit. but i mean i wouldn't i would not be opposed to being able to like have a jaw strong enough to like break a femur that'd be pretty sweet that's pretty it would because then it's like next time somebody made me mad i'd just be like and uh. your femur would just break <laughs> <laughs> and i'd be like yeah so don't be a dick <laughs> i got these chompers <laughs> oh shit all right. Uh, <laughs> who's got some horror news and who wants to go first? I got nothing. I got, I got horror news. Yeah. I got horror news. Um, so I had heard, we may have even talked about it here, but I heard rumors about um, a horror anthology series mm -hmm. that Peacock was doing. Um, the trailer is out now and it's John Carpenter's Suburban Screams. Right, and right, right. I I knew he was attached to it, um, kind of like producing it or whatever, but they just announced that he actually directed one of the episodes. So this is the first thing he's done in like 14 years. Oh, shit. That'll be cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that was actually like some cool horror news that popped up on my feed today. Um, so I'm excited. I loved um, Showtime's Masters of Illusion. Mm -hmm. um, and I really think kind of like i don't know the runtime on these but i'm really hoping they're kind of at that hour to hour and 20 minute mark i think it's the perfect length for horror stories let's hope so everyone who's listening perfect length <laughs> perfect like What's after you hit length? an hour and a, up to an hour and a half but like 120 is just like mwah, mwah. like it's beautiful like you couldn't you get, get any more italian hand gestures yeah, that. <laughs> it's all the Italian <laughs> investors. Um, so if anyone listening likes to make movies or knows people who do, you could just like pass that along from some horror loving fans. That's what we want. Hour yes. and a half, no Agreed. more. Yep. Yeah, it has to be like really fucking good to be longer than an hour and a half. I mean, yeah, I will say the exceptions for me are like maybe one like uh like a movie that's like the start of a bigger kind of realm that they're going to do more movies and they have to do a lot of character building or you know stuff that's more horror adjacent but has like right. you know, a historical story or something else to it there are some that you need more but if if we're just going straight horror hour and a half yep don't go over that mark don't do it stop there stop just stop <laughs> full stop <laughs> You make me mad, and you're you're putting stuff in there like the dance scene of Terrifier. Yeah. Nobody needed that rave. No one no. needed that rave. No. <laughs> I will die on that hill if somebody liked that scene and thinks it should stay. They come at me because we can talk. No, yeah. no. And, and watch out because Oubliette might have some extremely strong jaws of death to bite jaws. the femur in half. <laughs> We're you working on it. I'm, you, you guys can't see me, but I'm currently doing jaw exercises. We're, we're getting there. Well, that that'll be rad. Uh, John Carpenter rules. Yeah. Um, he's, for me, he's probably the most consistent horror director. If I'd have to pick one, I'd agree. Like probably my second favorite horror director, first being George Romero, just because I'm a hometown boy. So I'm like, yeah, George Romero in the first three <laughs> Living Dead films. You're like, fuck yeah, you know. So. I'm like, that's that. But after that, I mean, I think hands down fucking John Carpenter, because he just cranks out some good ones. I mean, he has some like meh ones, but mm -hmm. there's a Majority lot of good Pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Um, cool. I'm interested to see it. Check it out. Same. Got anything um, else? Um, just like a little side note that you guys should look up some of the new images they released from Godzilla minus one. Cause there are some mm -hmm. really fucking cool ones and they look super old school, but really good old school. And there's like a, there's like one with Godzilla with a fucking train in his mouth. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for that one. And I'm December excited 1st. for, yeah. Excited for the, uh, the series. Same Kurt Russell and his son. 
And yeah. uh, it looks like they're like searching for the origins of like the kaiju, which could be very fun and cool. Yeah. I mean, as long as it's, you know, not too convoluted and the monsters look cool, I'm yeah. down for it. You really can't ask for much from a movie like that. Or, Same. I'm happy if it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. Or that's all you can ask for because that's like all you need in it. Just make the monsters look cool and the storyline not be fucking stupid. And you're good to go. So if there's yeah. any horror <laughs> producers or film screenwriters yeah. out there listening. They're listening to this. <laughs> um, and that one's called Monarch Legacy yeah. of Monsters. If anyone wants to look out for it. Um, and it but does look cool. Anytime I hear that word. More monsters. Anytime. No matter what, it, in what context, I will forever think of the Monarch from Venture Brothers. Venture Brothers. Hell yeah. yeah that's all I think about. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. cool. One of the greatest cartoons of all time. Oh, dude. That Frisky Dingo. Uh, <laughs> I like Frisky Dingo. Uh, uh, Archer is fucking awesome. Yeah. C Lab 2021 was. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I love C-Lab. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a horror news that actually isn't new, but we never mentioned. Um, Eli Roth Thanksgiving, which mm. was like a clip in the Grindhouse movie. Uh, mm -hmm. It actually has a release date and it's November 17th. So it's like a month away. Right there. Yeah. And I like the stuff he does. Uh, it can be very hit or miss, but the stuff that's at, like good, I, I'm into it. So curious to see. I'm yeah. optimistic, but cautiously so. I mean, it, it, there's like a strong possibility that it won't suck. Like it may not be super great or like anything like that, but it'll be, it'll right. be adequate. You know, he usually doesn't yeah. put out complete trash. So good for him. Uh, except for his fucking TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. Eli well. Roth presents exorcisms. Jesus yeah. fucking yeah. Christ. <laughs> who told him to do that? Like, <laughs> that's why people need handlers, folks. Money. Money told him to do that. <laughs> And PR firms and managers, because they're supposed to be like, no, don't do that. But no, instead, they're like, go ahead. Let's talk about fucking a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. Well, so I mean, bad. that's part of the shitty part of just the horror genre being so popular right now is like, there's just a lot of crap. I mean, there always was a lot of crap, but now, like, everyone's got a green. If you have a little bit of money, or if you have a little bit of a name, you don't even have to try. And people will just eat it up. Oh, my God. So-and-so did that. This is awesome. And you're like, no, it's not. You're just being like a fan, a fanboy and liking yeah. it just because. And I'm like, it's not good. That's, And then that's why people keep putting out trash because people just want to consume horror. Oh, my God. It's great. And hey. which we're well, good. Mm -hmm. No, no. This is fucking Megalodon shit. This, this is like, <laughs> no, listen, this is like what the Discovery Channel did to me. And I think uh -huh. I've talked about this before. I was so excited because I love Shark Week and I fucking love National Geographic, Discovery Channel, because they tell you the truth and they're documentary. Right. But not anymore. Not anymore. Mm -mm. I watched the fucking Megalodon one and I literally had chills and I'm like, these fucking people found it. It's real. And I'm getting like hopped up and excited. <laughs> And my, my husband literally like walks in and like pours himself a water and like watches five seconds of this. He's like, you know, this isn't real, right? And I'm like, what do you Fuck mean? You. It's the Discovery Channel. <laughs> they don't do fiction. Discovery Channel, it's fact. It's fact. It would never, they would never do that. It's in the name. Oh, yeah. Discovery. And he, oh, yeah. And then he's literally <laughs> like, yeah, did you not see what's on in two shows after this? It's called Mermaids Are Real. And I was like, well, maybe they are. He's like, dude. They're lying to you. <laughs> and they were. And it wasn't true. And that's bullshit. And so now Eli Roth, because <laughs> he likes horror, has these dumb fucking fake ass reality shows where he hangs out with like people who do exorcisms and or like haunted objects. And it's just <laughs> fucking douchey. Yeah, and they make up stuff just to make it more interesting. And you don't have to make up stuff to make it more interesting because it would be interesting if it was just realistic. I agree. So fuck you, Eli Roth. But I hope Thanksgiving's great. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a PSA from our very own <laughs> Zilla. <laughs> I just need a moment to calm down now. Okay. Calm down. All right. Well, 
I'm what? so mad the Megalodon's not real still, or that they didn't find it. Take it, take a minute. So crushed in my life. So take sad. take a minute, and I'll uh, talk about my one little horror news I got. So, okay. if you didn't see, there they are going. They the mystical they in them. Hollywood, <laughs> them or them are going to do a scripted audio drama of London After Midnight, which. Hmm. You know, there's a couple pictures left, but the original film got burned up in the big MGM fire. And uh, so there's nothing left of it. But they're getting a bunch of people, a bunch of actors, and going to do like a radio drama doing the screenplay. And that's, I think that's pretty fucking rad. He says they have meticulously adapted the original screenplay by uh, Young and Browning as an immersive Dolby Atmos oral experience. That sounds kind of douchey. It's like it's gonna be a fucking rad radio show. <laughs> but yeah. uh it's gonna record over two days and then we'll see. But that'll be rad, like a throwback to like the old serials. I think mm-hmm. that'd be fucking pretty oh, sweet. Yeah, it'd be super neat. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what uh what they do with that. That's cool. Yeah. And that's pretty much all I have. Oh, except for one thing. I talked about it on the last episode of the uh, Chiller Theater. But, um, so Chili Billy was the host of that and he was the weatherman for WPXI and, you know, the, the channel that preceded that one. Um, and with this new iteration of it, they also got a meteorologist co- to host it again. So I thought, I'm like, dude, that's pretty fucking rad. Like you kept yeah, the tradition cool. of mm-hmm. getting the, the fucking, the weather guy to host <laughs> this show. <laughs> <laughs> so again, check that out if anyone hasn't. You download the WPXI Now app and watch it. Not in Pittsburgh. You can watch it live. But that is all I got for horror news. Anyone else? Make sure Oubliette's calm um, down. Oh, I am. I, oh, here's some horror news. I put together, well, I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, but I finally decided what I'm going to be for Halloween. I had to make this costume because they don't make it. I mean, I had to like, order all the pieces separate. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be great i am going to be pinocchio when he turned into a donkey and i got these big <laughs> glue on fuck teeth and i found a fucking purse that looks like a mug of beer <laughs> oh shit and these like ridiculous ears that i'm gonna like cut holes in the hat and put them through and so i'm going to i'm going to the oogie boogie bash in california so i totally am gonna i'll have a real beer in my hand too and then my beer purse and i'm gonna like really make parents mad <laughs> and scare kids because I'm just going to be like talking to Kate and then be like, uh huh. Like, making like crazy <laughs> ass noises. <laughs> uh, and I got this like prop cigar that looks like it's like on fire, but it's not. That's pretty funny. It's going to be good. <laughs> I'm when? very excited about this. When are you going? Uh, uh. Actually, exactly a month. It's like I'll be there the 11th, I think of october okay oh you're gonna be there the the 11th so i'm driving from phoenix right arizona to anaheim Mm. on columbus day and then that's right that night i'm going to strong water to tiki and then i don't know what i'm doing the next day but at night i'm going to be buggy and then the day after that during the day i'm gonna go to disney and then i do uh, my special traveling that i always do where i fly overnight and land at like four in the morning like that. <laughs> <laughs> because i can sleep on planes though so it makes sense like yeah. look i don't want to fly from california to new york and lose three fucking hours through and be awake during the day and literally lose my whole day traveling when i can just get on a plane at like eight o'clock at night california time and land at like 4 a.m my time and have a, a six oh, hour yeah. full He's- sleep i'm good just got to muscle through it. I get it. I'm time hopping, guys. There you go. Time traveling. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot that was the date. I'm like, God damn it. You're like a few days short of Monster Palooza. When is it? There. The weekend after. <sighs> yep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it. I've got first, weddings at work. First world problems. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Totally. That's all. That, <laughs> that's all we got for. <laughs> all right now it's time to get into this 
10, 11 minute short from the UK from Kieran Reed of Flying Eyeball Pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it is a very interesting one. Let me read the synopsis. A young waitress stumbles upon a dark and sinister cabal operating behind the scenes of the fast food diner where she works. She now has the proof she needs to bring the secret to light, but unseen evil forces are unleashed in a bloodthirsty attempt to stop her. So that might clear some things up for you, Charlie. (laughs) Um, I mean, (laughs) it's something. (laughs) All right. So since this is a short, this first short we're doing, and it's not a movie, so we're going to have to adapt the score. I think we should do like out of three candy corns. It's not a full movie, so you can't really give it a... No, you can't change the scoring. Ooh. But I mean, it's a it's a five, it, but it's not like a full movie. You know what I mean? But this it doesn't. The length uh, doesn't yeah, have anything sh- to do with the rating. Yeah. All right. All right. We could do That's, that. No, we're not changing. I'm vetoing that idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's, yeah. I mean, unless if, you really want to, we could. No, I was just thinking. I no, I was just thinking. Like, absolutely we, not. But if you'd like to. <laughs> It's also going to, and I don't like that because either you're going to be like nice, neutral, or like bleh, right. three. There's just okay. not enough numbers there for me to feel good about this. Okay. That's that's perfectly <laughs> perfectly fine. I was just concerned. I'm like, how are we going to do this since it's not, it's a short, so you kind of have to condense everything. But okay, we'll stick with five candy corns. I'm totally okay with that. All right. So are we doing what we liked? Uh, let's do what we didn't like first. <laughs> Okay. All right. Who wants to go? Charlie, go ahead. We know what you don't like. (laughs) And just to preface this, this longtime listener from the UK (laughs) has been listening for a while and he hit us up and was like, hey, listening to you guys for a long time and I love the show. I love it because you guys are actually honest about he whatever you're watching. He buttered E up, so then we had to watch this. That's what happened. <laughs> he, he was he was doing that long he was like before. Moving you up. He was doing that long it. before when he would repost yeah. stuff, and he's like, "You guys got to check these guys out. They're actually fucking honest about stuff, unlike a lot of other horror podcasts, which is true because you get people that are like, they just want to be ob- obnoxiously. They're either scared and everything's like, oh, everything's great." Or they want to be obnoxiously like, fuck this, Ugh, everything sucks. And it, you could tell it's like a it's like a thing. They're being super obnoxious about it. Where yeah, and they talk like they're at a monster truck rally. Yeah. <laughs> can can you impersonate that for me? Yeah. <laughs> you just totally did. There you go. <laughs> they're like that. Yeah. They're, they, it's like this bro like ripoff of Wolfman Jack people do that's not good. But they like never break the weird character. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a lot of obnoxious. We need to be like a personality or we need to be way over the top to be entertaining instead of just giving like an honest opinion of what you watched, which to me, I always like stuff like that a little more than like, you know, I don't know. And some people are just naturally funny. Exactly. Like us. So like me. (laughs) Yeah. We can't help. We're fucking awesome, everybody. (laughs) Sorry. We so don't anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What what didn't we like, Charlie? Um. <laughs> don't, oh, don't oh, be a pussy, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> right. he was he was he was all words before we started. <laughs> yeah. You actually like, heard what he was saying the, the before main, we started recording. The main was girl crazy. was uh, her voice was pretty annoying, and that uh that distracted <laughs> me from the whole plot. Or lack thereof of that 13 minutes. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's the only thing you didn't like about it. What about yeah. before when you were like, this fucking everything in this sucks. I hate the camera work. Fuck yeah, this. Yeah, what's guy. going on down here? Ugh. Fuck the Brits. Listen to that like, dumb keyboard in the background. I hate yeah. that. You're like saying all this other kind of shit. No, I, I uh, yeah, that was the, that was the biggest distractor for me of the whole thing. But, uh, yeah. The okay. uh, flesh light burritos were interesting too. <gasps> See, that, that was going to be the thing I liked. The burritos See? were flashlights. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm, I'm not the only one that thought that. That was kind of <laughs> good and bad. I was like, that's legit a flashlight yeah. like, eating that guy's face. I thought it was great. Yeah. And, and I, 
it also there are layers of teeth. That's <laughs> yeah. good. Pay attention to it's the little details. Details. You know? Yeah, details. like three. It wasn't even like two rows like a oh. shark. It was like a bunch of rows like a sandworm. Like sandworm. Yep. Exactly. All right, we're we're mm-hmm. getting we're getting into the stuff we liked. Anything else, Charlie? Before we move <laughs> I think on. That's it for me. <laughs> All right, Oubliette, you want to go? Um, I didn't like the sound. Uh, the like everything was mixed really low, so it was hard to hear. Um, with some of the dialogue. Mm-hmm. And Especially then, like, at the beginning, I, at the opening. Yeah, I had to turn it yeah. really loud. Same. And then once I got it loud enough to hear her, the guy she was talking to, then he spoke and I couldn't fucking hear him. So I had to rewind and then blast it more. Um, and, and it was weird because when it started, like the opening music was plenty loud. And then once she talked, it was like a whisper. So yeah, uh, that I don't like because that's always a real bummer to have to, to like feel like you're struggling to hear the dialogue when you can hear all the sound effects around it really well. Yeah, that happens um, in a lot of movies. Yeah. You know, a lot uh, of big budget movies. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are they saying? So I turn it up. And then when the music starts playing, it's just just blaring. And I'm like, what the fuck? (laughs) Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like horror movies and dramas specifically. Like, yeah. And yeah. I've scared the shit out of myself so many times, but especially in horror <laughs> movies and stuff like that. Well, because I'll have, I'll have to turn it up because there'll be like a whispering scene. It's like you're not in a theater with surround sound. I'm in my fucking house, right? So I'm like real close to the TV, listening to it, and then all of a sudden there's like a jump scare and like a you know like a broken mm-hmm. organ noise or something, and you're like, ah! <laughs> and then you pee yourself like me. <laughs> have to run to the bathroom because you're scared. Water sports. Yep. Um, but so I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, so the guy who was cultivating and collecting bacteria. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys have done a whole lot of bacteria collection, but those <laughs> uh, petri dishes. That's not what smells oh. look like. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the way they form and everything, once you check them after you do bacteria samples, like, I mean, they grow all kinds of different ways, but not like bloody snot. I don't know. If and maybe I'm wrong. You know, I don't think give they me were the information to be and show accurate. me. And maybe it could be a thing. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, but a little accuracy there. A little more would have been better. And the way he was doing it, that's not actually what you should be doing when you're collecting samples. He was just very... He was like rolling all over it. It did make sense. Like, what was he actually doing? Because the bacteria had already had time to grow on it. So right. why is he scratching it all over but the place? They are in the back. What you do? They are in the kitchen of a burrito shop. So and <laughs> why is there a guy collecting bacteria at a burrito shop? Well, that's because they didn't were. Look too I, I much heard like the a, did not look machine. too much like a kitchen either. It looked like yeah. They were, in a in a lab and there was a bottle of Kahlua up on a shelf i noticed yeah, that well because that's corner, I was like, well, that's a that's pa- that's the her, part of her, her, her waitress outfit kind of looked like a lab coat too right i mean yeah. i could definitely see for sure but yeah they were so in a lab or a burrito restaurant this guy had a trash bag full of burritos also that, okay so that's <laughs> something i don't like who throws away <laughs> bags of burritos no one <laughs> No one. <laughs> don't throw away burritos, guys. No well, one mean, throws away burritos. They're British. They don't know. They don't know how we roll oh, in the I US. Didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You guys, yeah. If you you got to think about that if you're asking Americans to watch this. We don't abuse our burritos. <laughs> <laughs> that was just that's not okay. It would be like, you know, us throwing away fish and chips or like, you know, a pasty or something. Bags crump- of them. Bags crumpet. of them. Bags of crumpets. Bags of shortbread. Just like fuck you, shortbread. We're going to the dumpster in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that throwing away burritos is not cool. I think that's all that I didn't like. All right. Inaccurate science and burrito abuse. Okay. All and sound. All <laughs> acknowledgeable. We get uh for me, I mean I didn't it was so short that it really didn't give me enough time to dislike anything especially for what it was and i'll lead this into the stuff i liked um sure but like yeah it's literally the actual short part i don't know 11 and a half minutes long or something like that maybe even it was real short yeah i was expecting it to be a little longer so when it was i was like oh shit this is like this is a real short um i don't know i agree with the uh the volume that was a little 
that stunk a little bit because you have to like turn it up or turn it down, turn it up or turn it down. Um, and that's pretty much, I mean, the only issue I had with it, it, especially for what it was and for what it was, which is one of the things I liked about it was, okay, first of all, the intro was fun. I was like, okay, sweet. This is given like an eighties, a total eighties, like schlock movie intro. I'm like, cool. Some alien shit. And then it totally reminded me of like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yep. Absolutely. Or, or like a trauma film. And I was like, I thought it when you sent me the link before I do- dove in, I was like, is this a new trauma film just based on the right? Just the, the, the vibe of it. Vibe, yep. yeah. And I was surprised when I heard Jello Biafra's voice. Another annoying voice. And- <laughs> <laughs> Courtney's like, ah, ah. oh no, me? No, no, no. Oh, we we Adele and I have a very honest relationship. <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, you were there. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I, was. <laughs> I was gonna say you witnessed mm-hmm. the fact that I am no like fucking fan suck boy that everyone else is around him oh it gets annoying especially here in the bay area like (laughs) don't get me wrong jello's a nice guy sure he he could be cool to talk to yeah Yeah. he's fucking crazy he's batshit crazy you have to understand that but he's he's fine however he's rude but yeah whatever however The fucking <laughs> Bay Area alternative tentacle fucking dick riders when they talk yeah, to him sure. or just I'm like, just fucking blow him already. Like, Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ. Like, I get it. Some people I mean, are like starstruck about and maybe it's because we're all in bands and we've all either played with or know yeah. a lot of famous other famous musicians sure. or musicians sure. we grew up listening to it's the novelties worn off for like oh you're just a fucking you're in person just like anyone else and yeah you know at least half the time <laughs> the, the bands you grow up idolizing or like really loving half the people end up sucking so hard you're like God, i wish i never fucking met you because you suck so bad like you're such an egotistical dickhead what a oh fucking yeah jacket. i hate yeah. meeting people that i look up to because i just don't want to anymore exactly yeah and people think i'm full of shit they're like no if you got the chance you totally want to and i'm like no Mm-mm. i like the dream in my head uh-huh that is good yeah. with me i don't that's, want the reality because the reality that, is never as good that's the reason why i didn't meet meet little richard when i saw him the two times i saw him I because totally he's already understand he, that he's already older and not not that i you know i mean it probably would have been fine but i didn't want anything to put a blemish on this image of little Richard I have. I don't want to meet him. I don't want to fuck anything up. I just want to see the show and just witness the greatness that is fucking little Richard and be good with that. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we, these, we love these people for like something they do, right. Whether it's the music they play or the characters they play and their acting ability. Like we don't love them for who they are most of the time. So like, I don't want to know who the fuck they are. Yeah, I'm fine not knowing because yep. it's usually not great. <laughs> um, and creative people like, you know, uh, are just fucked in their head generally. And that's, totally. you know, the people who excel at these kinds of things really don't excel in so many other things like socialization or emotional <laughs> cues. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I yep. think all of us to some extent have, you know, we definitely have our things. uh and we get along with each other, but there's, there's probably many people that would say the same things uh, about, you know, any of us, depending, you know, but yeah. whatever. I just, I just, I like separating the, the person sometimes <laughs> from the art in that sort of way. Like, I don't, for sure. I don't want to aspire to meet them because, and I just don't, I, I actually don't really like meeting new people. So I'm good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, Bay Area <laughs> dick riders, just calm it the fuck down with some of these. Yeah. Oh, dude, Lars is oh, another one oh, from Rancid. I'm oh, like, Jesus dude. Christ. Like, nice dude. The original skinhead. <laughs> dude, you want to hear something yeah. fun, or something hilarious? So my one skinhead buddy out here, not my one, but one of the ones I know. Yeah, you know, he's he, he was like, 
Lars came up somehow and he was like, oh, you mean the fucking world's oldest fresh cut? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and for those of you that know that terminology, you'll get it. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, pretty yeah, I'm like, yeah, pretty much. So, but anyway, yeah. Um, so, but that was, it was just like a yeah. super random you guys thing. just stop riding the dicks of all these people. For real. It's really a bad look. For real. It's because yeah. they, they've, they've all done some great things, but like, it's not worth yeah. being a fucking, yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of them, if you actually got to know them or know the shit they do when they don't think anyone <laughs> that would divulge their secrets yeah. is around. I mean, you'd be like, oh man, these guys are fucking really big shit bags and like, yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's true. People who get famous, by the way, there's like lots of power dynamics and all kinds of fun things that come out <laughs> yeah. in personalities and egos. Oh, yeah. Trust me. Most of them are dirt bags. Most of them. Um, but yeah, the randomness of Jello being in there was a surprise because I'm like, wait, what? But yeah, it's typical sure. Jello because it'll just pop up. And it. this is something that I think about. I'm like, oh, yeah, why wouldn't? jello be in this somehow like why wouldn't he lend his fucking voice to it? so uh so that was fun we already talked about the fucking burrito monsters which i thought were fucking rad flash lights yeah um and i just i the gore was good i thought it was like a fun little short for me i thought this would have been like a perfect short for uh the creep show series mm -hmm. like add like totally. five more minutes onto it it would have been one of the better ones because those ones are always like it's like a 50 50 they have what six episodes a season yeah and like usually mm -hmm. one is great two are okay and then the other three are like this shouldn't have been there yeah so yeah i mean i i thought it was cool and that's all the stuff i liked about it who wants to go next i like the same stuff or i said like stuff we them oh no yeah yeah i, yeah. I threw in like in my not like so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good it was the the burrito, the fleshlight burrito is good and bad in my book. They were fun though. I just started laughing out loud when when they first <laughs> appeared. I was like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> well, yeah, because if like for the I don't know the, the eight minutes before all the shit starts going crazy, I'm like, "All right, I obviously know it's something about burritos, but what like what's going to go on? Like when's it going to happen?" And then. It does, and I'm like, oh shit, this is pretty hilarious. Yeah, had I not read the description, I wouldn't have even known the entire time <laughs> that they were in like a fast food place. Right, like, right. They circling back around to the downsides <laughs> of it. Uh oh, we lost. Uh... I am the host now, as it says. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jello heard, and he was like, oh, fucking. He called in some favors to get her disconnected. <laughs> so this just popped up. The Halloween house is for sale in California. Oh, really? Yeah, for $1.8 million. Jesus. I mean, you'd have to be like... Super fan. Yeah. <laughs> just, or just to live there. You know, if you're like a normal person trying to fucking relax and you got a bunch of people just uh it's like the goodies house those people yeah. and we're back welcome back Goobzilla. <laughs> hi i'm surprised when i left it it kept you guys in there it made it <laughs> for uh, now okay yeah gotcha for now cool. um yeah my internet just like went away and now it's back so yay living in the forest <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah the one thing i would would like to add also in the likes i do like the uh the premise of the movie i mean it's a typical science fiction trope oh the powers of beer creating this crazy thing but i don't know in this time of studios just rebooting bullshit and adding so much stuff to where it's not even a recognizable movie from the original i'm like yeah if you're just gonna fucking basically just steal the the title of the movie to make your own movie to just start remaking movies with the same old horror tropes and just do a good job at it. Like I'd rather see that shit than the stuff they're coming up with now. Like, Same. but, but anyway, yeah, sorry, Charlie. I mean, to oh, uh, bust in on you. Was I talking? What you drop? <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. uh, um, I don't know. Anything else uh, you liked about it? Ubi it? 
Um, it was mainly like the, I like to the sci-fi aspect. I love the little teethy burritos. They're super mm-hmm. cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, you have to understand that having like a cute carnivorous monster like that. Like critters. Is, critters. Yeah, is perfect for mm-hmm. merchandising. Like, oh yeah. Stuffed animals. Yep. Enamel Bur- pens, burrito yep. flashlights. They could they Dude, could do their own right? line of. Yes. Oh yeah, the teeth could be like ribbed for your pleasure. Yeah. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah, you could have like a cool little beanie that was like the burrito eating your head. Right. But basically, you <laughs> should hire us to do all your merchandise. <laughs> yeah. My videos. And we're not saying anything else until we have your credit card number. That's right. That's right. Uh, well, cool. Um, I don't know. Do you want to rate it? I think we're pretty much all on the same page with what we liked about it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I'll go first. In out of five toxic burrito y candy corns, I'm going to give it a three because for me, I would uh, I would like to see this as like a full length movie, like a feature movie. If it could keep the same the same vibe to it, like I said, it would end up for me to be more like a Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Like I loved that when I was a little kid. Yeah. Or like a good trauma film. It but, had a thanks killing vibe. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much yeah. So. And I love the science fiction aspect of it. So I would love to see this as an actual movie, but but only if it's like an hour and a half long. Or an hour and 20 not, minutes. Not a minute longer. Do not make it longer. Because right. that leaves a lot of room to add some shit that you don't need in there. And yeah, I mean, I thought I thought the acting was fine. Um, again, I know what kind of movie or what kind of short it was. So they achieved what I thought they were going for, is what I'm trying to say. So three for me. Okay. Yeah. Charlie, since you're the guest tonight. Sure. I mean, I was going to give it a solid three as well. It, as ridiculous as it was, it was entertaining. And right. in anything that's got the lizard people creating a new uh, <laughs> something to, to exterminate us, uh, right. I'm, I'm a fan of. So um, that's all I could think of when it was Jello's voice talking. I was like, uh-huh. uh-huh. Yep. There it is. So Can I'll look- give it a solid three. It was, it was entertaining. And yeah. Cool. All right. Three for him. Oubliette. So I'm going to be the asshole here. <laughs> <laughs> but but hear me out. I'm I'm giving it a two and a half. Okay. And, and I'm doing that not because I didn't like it, but because it was too short for a short. Okay. I Wait. wanted, I wanted like five to 10 more minutes. Honestly, like I was pleasantly surprised. I had no idea what the quality would be going into it. I just knew someone who listens to the podcast and supports us did a movie for all I knew. It was like someone recording in their living room. Um, and that dude, that's, ex- I was real worried about that. Cause I'm like, Oh yeah. man, I hope it doesn't suck. Cause you see again, <laughs> I'm not, Hey, if, if you're having fun doing your thing, do it. I'm all about that. But totally. if we're realistically and honestly speaking, there's so much fucking trash coming oh, out God. of like the horror stuff like everyone thinks they're a fuck everyone thinks they're john carpenter and they're missing the mark so bad because they're focused on the wrong shit yeah there are so many movies that drop now that i'll see on streaming and start to play and within five minutes the quality is so fucking bad and i had coming from someone who loves thanksgiving loves right. movies i love shit like that i'm fine with that acting i'm fine with everything but like these movies i'm like did anyone direct it? Who the fuck is the camera person? They're like staring off to the side. It's just like it's I've got so bad. So many like that on on the, my server. Oh yeah, I'm just grabbing. No, oh, that's, that's where I cool, find them. That's a cool <laughs> title. Oh, that that cover looks great. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm like, like oh, I can't oh. believe people have spent money on some of them. They're just like, <laughs> no, that's the crazy. And thing. with bad. the st- with the storytelling, like as ridiculous as this right. as this was, it made sense. And there's so many movies now, full length features. Oh. It's like they focus. And this one throws back to the stuff we love. Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. You know? so like the parts of it that someone might say are bad are intentionally bad, and they should be. You know, like right, right. That's well, the yeah, feeling yeah. of the movie. That's what I was gonna say. It's like it does what it does well, and a lot of these newer movies, it's like they f- they'll go back and watch like a super 
shitty 80s movie or like 70s movie that actually doesn't make sense. Like the story itself makes absolutely no sense. And they're like, oh, we're going to make yeah. a movie like that. You're like, okay, well, mm -hmm. that wasn't a good movie. Like, that's not a good movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you want to make a good yeah. movie, make it make sense. And when a fucking 10 minute short makes more sense than 80% of the, like the features now, you're like, Jesus Christ, you guys mm -hmm. should really focus on making a good movie instead of just trying to get whatever you want in it. Like, just focus and make it good. Yeah, I totally okay. agree. But I mean, that average comes out to a 2.8, which for us, I mean, that's basically that's a three. Pretty that's pretty high. Pretty good. Yeah. So fucking Karen, you did a good job. So yeah. What you, do you have going on next? Yeah. Buddy. Well, maybe, uh, maybe we'll work out at that time and try and get him on, on an episode and talk to him a little bit. He's in English. Oh, I don't know. Here. That's like someone invading my personal space. <laughs> 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 maybe. Whoa. What the fuck was maybe, that? Maybe buddy. <laughs> Burritos. Um, <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was fun and I think people should check it out and hopefully someday we'll get to see like a full feature of all you can eat. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. So I don't know. Yeah. Everyone go check it out if you haven't. Um we'll probably tag him and the uh the movie and everything when we put up this episode. So you'll be able to find it there or just go on YouTube. Did you guys it's on YouTube. just remember, did you you all watch through the credits? Like it yeah, the credits were kind of entertaining. Oh they yeah, mm -hmm. yep. gave descriptions of all the all the characters. So mm -hmm. it was very cute. Yeah, yeah. No, there's like a lot of great stuff to work with here. That's that's the only reason why my number is a little lower than you guys. I, I wanted more. I you hear that? More. Do more. Do a part two. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, Charlie, thanks for coming on and helping us out with this one. I always when I, when I watched it, I was like, dude, if he's a fan of fucking. <laughs> thanksgiving or thanks killing thanks killing yeah <laughs> i gotta i gotta get him on this one so i was just trying to find the uh a copy of the thanks killing the musical i still have yet to be able to find <sighs> even a, a live video of that but <laughs> if anybody out there happens to have something please get in touch with charlie please let me have it oh that'll be awesome i'm sure um, it exists yeah well, cool. Uh, thanks, everyone, for checking out this little special episode where we did a short. And uh, tune in next time for the next episode of Monster Candy yeah, Podcast. Yeah, maybe send us. If you guys have shorts, maybe send it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if if they super suck, maybe we won't watch them. But <laughs> maybe, or maybe we will. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. If they really suck, we're cool with them being 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys know if they really suck. So. No, it's, I mean, it, yeah. just don't send them if your mom's the only one who's watched it and praised you. Like, yeah, don't send them to us unless at least twenty people have have watched it and you have like a seventy five percent success rate with them. Yeah, there you go. See another PSA from Oopzilla. <laughs> You're on a roll tonight, Oopzilla. It's just, just establishing it's, it's establishing boundaries and rules, man. I I couldn't well, agree more, and I appreciate those. <laughs> those boundary settings um anyway thanks everyone we'll see you next time Bye. Awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh,
looks that big old storm right square in the eye and he says, Get away from her, you bitch! You're gonna need a bigger boat. Your move, creep. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make.